Okay, so <clears throat> here since we have B reps, uh, we're gonna start with our um, B rep component and take them all to classify. And now, uh, in order to start with um, B rep, we need them to be a uh, planar polysurface right so this is how we do this and now we converted our b reps to a one single object and I can now hide these and go further for like treating an assembly okay now I have an assembly I need to decide on the shell and joints so for this i guess we go with the um, i don't know 10 mm um, mdf mm -hmm. or so we create a shell component which basically extrude everything in opposite direction to the normal surface is good to have a idea of normal direction so they're going out so Basically, what happens is that um, these surfaces will be extruded uh, below, and this one and this one is going to be in different directions. Yeah. So for these, we'll choose a center. I guess it's better to choose a center shell, something like a symmetric shell, and. Therefore, they will be all. Uh, it doesn't matter which direction they are. So, um, we would need a polygon index uh, to do that. I mean, to extract the polygon index within this assembly, we use cell. Um, there's something here called polygon selection. So, um, this you need to introduce your planar polysurface here, and then. Just hide everything. Oh, sorry. Uh, we can hide everything here. Turn this on. Uh, oh, we didn't take those two. Eyes. Put this one in. Uh, select multiple. Okay, so now we can turn off. Okay, now everything is there. Uh, we can select these two polygons. Uh, so one, two here, and these two as well. Oh no, sorry, this I don't want. Control and Shift. Uh, so these will be symmetric, mm -hmm. and the other, oh, copy paste. Um, so we can preview. We don't want to see the this one. So select polygon. We can do this, 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 and this, and this one. So everything here except this one is going. Yeah. These will be this guy, which will be extruded. Mm -hmm. So um, now we don't want to see them. Um, now we have to decide on the thickness. The thickness is we said 10 mm. So uh, okay, let's go a little bit uh, more. Uh, so that's the thickness here, and this is the thickness here. And we're gonna go again. Okay, we'll just do the both of them in shell. I would always recommend to flatten this. So when you put them there, they are in one single list. So, um, if I now disassemble, and mm, unfold, you can see that everything is get unfold, uh, um, basically extruded. But everything with the mitre joint, so let's get a better preview of this. Uh, by making 
and then okay look like that and turn off the pretty surface so um, now we have to decide on the joints so we'll uh, start first with the waffle joints that we have here um, Okay, so um, next step is to define the joints. Uh, so I'll get these to, uh, for now, I just disable this and turn on this again. Uh, so we need to define or select the joints. So this is the edge selection component. It works the same way. You have to introduce your primary pool surface and then right click select edges and then you can select the edges that you want to change like that it's just because it's a waffle now yeah mm. so uh we need a waffle joint um it should be this one and we put our edges there and because we're not going to do uh, yeah, okay. five uh, axis milling, we choose not align the faces. And then we have, we do the same here, we just flatten this. And then we have our waffle uh, joint. So um, I want us also to um, uh, maybe for these uh, oh by the way this has to be uh, because now we have a joints here i think the, this will later on we join the two faces yeah. together so what we can do is that we have a default joint which is um i suppose a, a miter simple miter joint which um join the coplanar sheets basically wherever two planar sheets are meeting each other mm. like this also we say okay you join them together so mm -hmm. that's that's the default joint so it goes there so uh let's have a look of what is happening this we have a cut here we have also a cut here uh, we will look into this uh, because they probably um, uh, the, the joint has to go all the way through so I would just let's, let's check if I select all the edges here what happens yeah so you better to select everything as a waffle joint so you mm -hmm. can recognize where to end the joint um, so the um, this looks fine. This also looks fine. Uh, now the next thing is to uh, we don't want to have mitre here. We want to have a um, probably a finger joint. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do that again. We have um, copy paste this one. Then we say select edges. We we do this and we do this and we choose. Uh, one finger joint. Did you press enter after selection? No, you just right click. Okay. Um, okay, that's a finger joint. Uh, we need for finger joint uh, um, spacing, I guess, maybe 570 would be fine. And then we introduce our edges, and then also we want to have them not aligned, basically uh, orthogonal. So that goes there as well. So here you can see now, um, uh, do I have this? You can see now how they basically, uh, mm -hmm. how is it created. Um, in case you want to extend yes, this okay, yeah. and sand it later on, yeah. you, there is an option which is called extension here. So let's say you want to extend it by 10 meter. Okay, let's do it this way. Um, minimum zero, 10 meter. 
up and see this goes down. Yeah, that's too much, I guess. Nope. This guy. So this is how you create that joint, which you can sand it later on. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think the last thing is the joints here. These are um, the non-manifold joints. Basically, there are more than two sheets meeting at one joint. Uh, so, um, in order to create a, also a, a box joint here for a finger joint, we can use the same, but we don't want to make mess up with the setting of this one. So I just copy it, and it probably they would also have the same setting, but just in case, uh, I'll use a different component. Select edges. So we want to do this guy and this guy and this guy right so let's see the edges here um, we also here check the joint profile on our sheets because we want this to be one single sheet and uh, let's put it back into our also So here you have, and this uh, thing is it's probably needs a little bit more uh, division. So um, maybe I just use count instead of the spacing. So let's say we want to have four count. So we don't want to just disconnect that one. Um, Okay, let's go further. Uh, so it's basically dividing the uh, dividing the uh, no the joint uh, the the edge by the. I see a little bit higher, like ten millimeters, looks a little bit to the outside. Um, yes, I think well, what we have to do problem. is to have uh, these two in the same group. Uh, because they have the same size, I guess, and uh, also there's an option here you can choose for uniform pattern. So this means that when you have a non-manifold, um, when you have a non-manifold edge, uh, normally what it happens that the um, this will actually this finger goes into each of the sheets. So for instance. This one, if I don't, let's say, if I don't say uh, join coplan or sheet, what happens here? So here you can see that the finger is here, then on it's on this one, then on this one. So if I just put a wire, it is more clear. Okay, so you have. Um, you're gonna have a finger here, then on this one, then back on this one, and it goes on and on like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if I choose, um, uh, if I join coplanar sheet, then I have option to say now I want a uniform pattern. And the uniform pattern will just keep the divisions, um, the the spacing between the uh, fingers, the same regardless of having a planar uh, sheet. So uh, basically now the if I use the spacing here, uh, or I, if I just use the same joint, the same joint for this edge and this edge with the option uniform, um, use uniform pattern, then I get the same. So I'll do that now. I will just use the, uh, let's, let's select, edges only I select this one here I don't want that let's make it like okay so that was this is this guy and now this guy we we also include this edge 
and then we use join coupon. So this will be the exactly the way this is treated is exactly like mm -hmm. this one. Correct. Yeah. And there I have a separate thing and I can decide how many I want. So I can go a little bit less. And uh, the length one should also be the index code. Right? Like come again? Yeah, this one should be the same like the outside. Oh, here you mean? Yeah. Then I have to change that to another component. So okay, yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, we can uh, uh, change it to another component and then you will change the... Uh, you can see what uh, what mm. happens oh, yeah, I I think it's fine. when yeah. I click yeah, here. Yeah, it's fine. If I click here, you can see that it starts from here. Oh. But then you have to have a different joint and do it like that. If you really want this to be symmetrical, okay, that's easy. You just need to change the config of the joint. Um, anyhow, now everything is there. Um, now let's check if we want to basically. Um, unfold them we would like to um, activate the nesting and everything is done um, the the size of the sheet is here so it's one meter by one meter so if I go the probably can uh, you can have also many copies if you want of the same assembly um, and I think if I just go to the nesting parameters and try to see if I can fit everything in one shape, which probably mm -hmm. will not work. Yeah, I think it just needs a little bit more space to get that one. Uh, so we consider. Uh, I'm going to for now. So, um, yeah, now you have your uh, your panels, and if you look at them, they are all two D. There's nothing in angle. Mm. Um, let's move them a little bit. So, um, they are not under our. So let's move them. This much, okay. So now that goes here, and then this will go. So let me turn off this. Oh, sorry. The I should have moved the. Um, I should have moved only the nested parts. So this one's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so then you have your nesting, and uh, it's ready to mm -hmm. to be made. Okay. Excellent.